Hi, I'm Ken Van Lu, and as you know, I've done $1.2 billion worth of real estate projects. We're here today at Park Avenue, 19th and Park Avenue South, at a 20-story project that I'm doing. This project is uh, about 112,000 square feet. It's got 53 luxury units. It's got retail on the first floor that has Bank of America and our favorite coffee shop, Starbucks, moving in. We're actually standing in the lobby. I wanted to give you a little shot of how the lobby looks approximately three and a half months before the opening date. It's a disaster, but to tell you the truth, on every deal, it all comes together quickly at the end. And I wanted to tell you a little bit about some of the things that I look at as I walk through a project. Of course, the lobby is one of the most important aspects of the construction process. Like I always say, lobbies, landscaping, and lighting, we want to make everybody think the building's done so we can lease it and begin selling, even though there's hundreds of things going on inside the heart of the building. But I wanted to just, you know, as I walk here, you may see me turn to the side because I don't want to trip. We have a lot of things. But I'm going to bring you up actually into the building and show you a little bit about what's going on. Now, there's holes everywhere. It's a little unsafe. Of course, safety is one of our biggest things. And we're going to take a walk up the stairwell here um, so that I can show you that um, actually the, the process is, is rather simple. This is a 20-story building. And you can see this stairwell, you may see a little bit more than you would like to, and it's all the same, and that's the point I'm trying to make. I don't mean to give you my back, but the point I'm trying to make is I'm bringing you up onto the second floor. Now, the second floor is the start of our residential um, area. As you can see, this is a common area lobby. Um, just in front of me, it's a little bit dark here, but this is something that we duplicate 20 times. You'll see this will be finished with stone, carpet, all types of fancy finishes, uh, customized wood, etc. Um, as we move into one of our luxury apartments, you can see we're actually using this as a storage area. You don't get to see the uh, beautiful window front, but this is uh, our load of Italian kitchen cabinets that just came in off the boat. We wanted to quickly get them into the building because we're, tr we're actually getting ready to take the hoist down. I'll show you the hoist in a minute. The hoist is actually an exterior elevator that we put on the building during construction. <coughs> the process is uh, you know, these are on the critical path, so it's very important that we finish the elevator as quick as physically possible so we can take down the outside elevator, which I'll show you in a minute, which enables us to finish up the floors. On every single floor as we build these apartments, which are all typical, you're going to see these apartments. There's maybe three different types of units, three on each floor, which are duplicated over and over again. So like I told you, it's really doing the same thing 20 times. Now this is the apartment which is affected by the hoist run. As you can see, this side of the building is actually left out. It's just a hole in the building. This is called our hoist run, and you can see the exterior of the building is not installed. There's no precast, as you can see behind me. The precast is installed in this area, but in this area, there's no precast. This opening runs the entire length of the building, and it's where the hoist operates. You can actually see the car below me here. This is where people will transport up and down the building and how we actually bring the material into the building. All the material that's delivered to a high-rise because you know, not like uh, out west or in New Jersey where you have acreage sometimes to store material. When you're building a high rise in New York City, everything has to be planned precisely. The logistics plan is the most important thing on a high rise in New York City. Why? Because you, have, you don't have the luxury of space to store stuff. Everything that gets delivered to the site has to immediately get brought up into the hoist. For example, if you look over here, we have stuff all over the place. Over on this side, you'll see we have stone from Italy. This is our Pietro Bedonia. This will be going into our finished areas in the bathroom. We also have all kinds of uh, lighting fixtures here in boxes. We're getting ready to start the finish process. We've just started tiling some of the bathrooms, which we'll show you um, on this floor. And we're getting ready to start the entire finish process, which consists of your wet trades, putting in all your tiles, etc. And that's followed by a wood installation. It's, a, it's an underlayment system for sound attenuation, followed by one layer of plywood. And then the finished wood goes on top of that. When, after the wood's installed, we install the kitchen cabinets. After the kitchen cabinets and wood are installed, we install the trim, the doors, and get into the finished painting, start getting into the automation systems, finishes, etc., plumbing fixtures, electrical fixtures, and it's really wrapped up. Matter of fact, I want to show you uh, the typical floors. I'm actually going to bring you, let me just step back here. We're going to head up this boring staircase one more time, and, and I'm going to show you that... Uh, that the system is typical. The system is typical and the floors are typical. This is easy. Now this is the third floor. You can actually see as you move up the building things will advance a little bit. So we're in our corridor again. This is going to be 
a standard thing. I wanted to give you uh, one of the typical apartments, which we're going into here, to get a little, little idea of what we're about. Now here you can see we've actually began the finish operation. The carpenters are here. They've set up their shop, their trim shop. We've started hanging doors. As you can see behind, we have door frames going in. This is a way that's going to go up the building. Doors will get installed. Like I said, the entire finished process is starting. You may be able to even see. Oops. Always got to watch your step. We've actually started some finished tile work in here. We've got floor tile going in. It's already protected. That'll be followed by wall tile. And that's the wet trades. The wet trades are something that you want to get done, obviously, before you start doing like your wood. Why? Because your, your wet trades are wet. Water can create damage. Okay, so ideally we, we come in, we do all the wet trades, that means all your tile work in your bathrooms, kitchens, etc., followed by the wood, the kitchen cabinets, finishes, accessories, medicine cabinets, vanities, countertops, lighting fixtures, plumbing fixtures, etc. It's a sequence that's easy, step by step, and you know, it's, it's really that easy. I mean, I show you how to buy it, build it, supervise it in the field, and uh, it's, it's an easy process. Uh, let me show you a little bit more here in the building to give you a little idea on what I think about as I walk through the building. Now, on November 15th, we're scheduled to turn over floors uh, four through nine. So I have five floors I have to get ready. And I've built houses in two months, so I'm not really concerned about the finish schedule. Okay, everything's going to be on automatic pilot. I have the system, but I pride myself as building projects on paper. This project has been fully built on paper, thought out, systemized and put into action. The implementation process has now been going on for many, many months. We're into the home stretch and we're real excited. Like I said, November 15th we move our first residence. The entire move-in process will take approximately three months. By February 1st, I'm done. Now you might not believe me how simple this is, but I'm going to show you one more floor because it gets boring after this. They're all the same. and I'm going to just turn around here and hustle up the steps. So you can see, I'm going to show you the, uh, this is actually the B-line over here. This is another typical apartment. And you can see we're actually getting, we're, uh, we're in good shape here. We have some door frames installed. We've got our doors on, and we actually prime this apartment. This apartment is ready for wood. Wet trades are ongoing, and this is a typical floor. I mean, this is as easy as it gets. Windows, sheetrock. It's really, really simple, okay? They look scary on the outside because they're big. But you're doing the same thing over and over and over again. It's that simple. It's really that simple. It's that easy. Same thing over and over again. It's a process that's that simple. And I've even made it so that you can learn what I've learned over 25 years in four days at my New York City boot camp. Believe it or not, in four days I'll give you all the information that it's taken me 25 years to learn. A Master of Science in Real Estate Development, a Master of Science in Civil Engineering, Real Estate Agent, Site Safety Manager, $1.2 billion worth of real estate projects, eight-figure deals with no money down, it's easy. Follow the system and you'll make millions and retire early.